Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got Ewa Oluwa Ritsun, who has refused to close her mouth. And if Ewa Oluwa, <laughs> <Why? laughs> I will not close my eyes, because what you did behind the scene will not make me close my eyes. I hope you were live. No, you did not. No, no, Definitely. no, no. Oh, God, you guys are amazing. I'll send that message to my haters. Oh, oh, okay. You guys are missing. I wish you know what we're talking about right hmm. now. You know, sometimes <laughs> we try to let you know what's going on behind the scenes. So just follow us on social media. Oh, right? yeah. You know, find out. <laughs> Anyways, so Malians, um, as a Malian, you have to enjoy your youth, but don't destroy your future. And this is coming from the president of Malians, the one and only through leader, <laughs> Mali. Period. I like that. Okay. The one Over and only Malians. true leader. Mm -hmm. ha. That's what I said. It's the Malians. Yeah. Hey, you're one and only true leader. I mean, I Malians. <laughs> this is a good Malians. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm happy that is beginning to I make know sense. Are you not Malians? No, I'm not. You are. to win over. She is. Don't worry. She I'm just, I just love Teshumole. <laughs> you're a Malian. No, you just no, want no. some. Uh, so, and and nice, it's like a like song that's reasonable, so... Off the park, yeah. Hey, Malian, it's okay. Can you dance the Tishmole dance? I'm going to learn it. <laughs> <laughs> but I can do what? it front, back, what? you know, side, side. Yeah, yeah. She will do it for you after the show. Then yeah. you have a good laugh, <laughs> a very good one. <laughs> anyway, I think this is coming off the back of the fact that a tweet. You know, he now has a Wikipedia page, and mm. his credentials um, is now open to the public. And people now realize that he's a graduate and also has a master's, mm. and that became like. A, a cause for conversation. People brought out that inf information and said, look at the person that's selling to be malalized and not do this mm -hmm. and not graduate. Malia, I think there was a slang that was saying Malians don't graduate or something. Yeah. yeah. So the person that is leading you astray, quote and unquote, from what people said is a graduate and a master's degree holder. So probably he's reacting but to you that. Know when, it, when it comes to um, that Malians don't graduate, I feel like, you know, you know how people are now. Mm. You just have to like give them one thing, and then they try to like explain and explain and explain. He mm. never said that as exactly. a Malian. You should that. not graduate. He has but never said Malians don't graduate. No, that's what I'm saying. He has never said, said anything. Don't he wear has belts. never said anything. So yes, he said, Mal he said, he said the belt belts. thing because he does the, not wear belts. The, um, video of um, what what song was that? Um, the one he said um, uh, Malians come for the rest. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you about to say? Yeah, Malians. God help me, amen. <laughs> but yeah, he, he has never said anything bad about education. So mm. yeah, mm. I mean, I like that he's doing this now. I've always it's something that I've always you know wanted. Let him start speaking up rightly, and I think he can do better with his music. You know, <laughs> it's somebody that has huge following, <laughs> and if you really want to preach that, do not ruin your future while you're trying to enjoy your life. It mm. would do more with his music than him tweeting because I think a lot of people, especially the real Malians are on the street, they even care about Twitter. Mm -hmm. It's just his music that he listens to. So this is a good one and I'm impressed. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so I really do not, um, if you, people that follow Naira Mali on Twitter, mm. you know that the things he says, like Benny Ak has said it yeah, over right. and over again, like the things he says, his values, is very intelligent. Mm. And, um, from that level of depth, you need to know that this is a very this intelligent is, Yeah, this person. is a very intelligent person and obviously educated. So mm. I wasn't surprised to see any of these credentials. Me too. I've always known because, that it was like he went to school and is a graduate. I just didn't know about the master's part. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, I don't think he needs to do better with his music because that's what sells for him. That's what is putting food on his table. Right. Do you understand? If people now decide, look, we've been listening to Jay Z, we've been listening to a lot of gangster rap mm. since way back. Why are we not shooting on the streets? Do you understand? Is it because we have direct contact with someone like Naira Mali and we can all relate? Yeah. And it's not, and that's not even the case because if a Jay Z says, I want to come and start living in Nigeria and it does the old gangster rap thing, are we going to say that, oh, we're going to start doing Crips and Blood? We're going to start carrying guns? Mm -hmm. We're going to start doing all of that? No, I think people should actually map out what they want for themselves. So this tweet, I appreciate it so much that enjoy your youth. You can have all the fun in the world. You can be a Malian, but at the end of the day do not destroy your future while you're at it 
So yeah. do anything you want, yeah. but make sure it doesn't affect your future. My first said makes a lot of sense. Yeah, as a passionless man, yes, I can see your passion. For <laughs> no, 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 but honestly, to be I, honest, I, I've always I'm, said it that people listen mm-hmm. to likes of, you know, Cardi B, Offset, mm-hmm. these people talking about drugs, talking about mm-hmm. gangster things and all of that, but you don't have a problem with it because they're speaking English. But you see the moment a Nigerian starts speaking Yoruba, Igbo, or whatever it is to say exactly what they are saying, then person becomes bad influence. <coughs> if so, you're right. Well done, Malians. You people have yeah. actually defended the president. And I'm sure he's proud of you too. Congratulations. <laughs> so let's move on to so the, the non Malians. <laughs> Nigerians on social media, or let's say, okay, let me start it this way. Nigerian social media, um, comedian Lassie Eleno has got some Nigerians on social media suspecting he must be a Yahoo boy. He made a skit about the scammers, and the accuracy of the skit has led to many accusing him of being a Yahoo boy. In my head, I'm wondering for you to know his accuracy. Wisdom. Maybe you're also a Yahoo boy. That's what I said. But moving on, in the video, the comedian could be seen clowning about the issues Yahoo boys face um, with their abu kids. So let's take a look at the video. Yeah, you want to whine me? You didn't mind me. You want to whine me? Who let me find you? Who let me find you? Yakuzi. Yakuzi. How much would they change dollar for abu kids? 320. This bastard. I book you where they manage. They tell me they go change dollar 300. I still agree. Is it they tell me they go collect 30 percent? She let 30 percent. I book you they collect. I still say okay. Clients pay for us now. This bastard won't die by phones. One day I see the money they mark me. They tell me say swift code no correct. You know me say client don't show me payment slip. I don't see sleep. I don't. I don't see sleep. Client don't confirm phones. They don't say money don't come for client at the end. This bastard. I book you make go punish. One day my phones. They tell me say say me. I don't say correct swift code. They they mad me. She not today. I don't collect phones. They ain't talk. Cash deposit. Same day payment. This bastard. They start. They tell me say now now three working days. Who care? Three. Don't use more than two weeks. They tell me say me. I don't collect via Iban Iban number. Could you not go better for Iban? I know absolutely nothing about Yahoo Boys um, issues and problems. So I cannot relate. Unless, when I said I'm like, <laughs> these people too, they must be into Yahoo for them to know how they act. Mm-hmm. Because I don't understand. Or maybe everybody knows somebody that's into Yahoo. Mm. When I saw, I, I saw a post. And the FCC needs to start arresting everybody like that. <laughs> <right now. laughs> I saw a post where um, somebody was like, if Kanayo, Kanayo can interpret his ritualist role so well, does that mean it's a read that he must also be a ritualist? No, no. Mm. his own is a script. He's the script writer that's supposed to go and read and ask Oku. So how much do you think this wasn't scripted? By who? By him. No, let's see, he right. took him days. He took him days. He wrote he it now. People. Oh, wow. Do you understand? So he, he, yeah. he, 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 wait, you are saying like... Okay, so are you saying the movie no. producer and yes. directors, they also know I'm ritualists? I'm loving this. Hold are you on, saying they also on. know ritualists? Hold on, let me finish. So are you Hold saying... On. That Lassisi knows Yahoo boys for him to be able to go to them and the uh, research is what? the word. Are you saying the and people that gave him... Kanayo Kanayo so you script no ritualist? Okay. Are you saying the people that give Kanayo <laughs> Kanayo I mean, I mean, script no <laughs> ritualist? Stories. There are stories. Yes, there are Who's stories. Who's stories, man? Who's stories? Ah, uh, Yahoo stories. He needs to tell us who told him the story. And oh, then I said, they need to tell us who told them about the ritualists and then we start investigating. What, what is the business of the FCC with ritualists? I mean... Some people start tagging the FCC. They will go and arrest this guy very soon. They start tagging the FCC. No, no, no. I mean, the FCC would not even want to joke around like that. I don't understand. This is serious. Are you joking? This is just a comedy skit. So, what about... I mean, I'm not joking too. I mean, it didn't say that this kid does not mean that I'm a Yahoo boy. Now, Mali was not. It joking, doesn't mean that a Yahoo boy. Like, but if, hold on, it doesn't mean that a Yahoo boy. But if truly this is a representation of what Yahoo boys go. Is this to, how they behave? That's, that's what I was going to ask. I said that's, that's how they. Behave. If truly we don't even know. know. Hey, listen to me now. I'm not saying you know. Okay. <laughs> Truly, for those who know, mm. and you know, EFCC knows because you have to be a thief they know. to catch a thief. Okay. They know. You have to be a then thief EFCC to catch a thief. Be your boy. <laughs> because <laughs> so if that is the case, then they might invite you to say, bros, can you help us? 
catch these people. It's like, you know the way. Can you be our informant? Mm. You know, you never can tell, really. Some people are tagging. They are, I saw one tweet. The accuracy of this, though, at official EFCT. And I'm like... Are you kidding, bro? So, like, you know, they call them Asheju people in class. Like, mm. people just like to overdo. What is... Why do you have to bring EFCC into this? Just then I saw another class? one. This which... is not the first time he's making um, a skit about Yahoo Boys anyways. Mm. He has always done, like... I mean, I think he has done, like, three or mm, But two. I think this one is different because it, it shows their peculiar struggle with trying to get their yeah. funds that's, and changing the funds. I mean, it does a lot with that. It did one of mm. when they're on live video and they're trying to talk about it with their friends. You, you should, when you watch, you see that he knows how to act like this. So you think he knows... What about the gunner guy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What about the gunner gunner guy? Then they should arrest him, too. I'm going to gunner gunner guy. Yeah, that you should... Uh, oh. Then they should arrest him. <laughs> Who's the guy? The one oh, that told just... um, some girl to speak to um, what client. they call a client. Mm -hmm. so what's a client again? I don't, what they call a client. They just call the person client. That's okay. all I mean. I don't, but I don't know what a <laughs> client is. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> oh, that's what a client is. That's a client. You know what they come for? We know client. So, um, the gonna gonna thing. So, they should arrest that guy as well. But the one that caught my attention the most was when someone was like... Um, Naira Mali, it was a picture of Chadwick Boseman mm -hmm. smiling. And um, they were like, oh, Naira Mali right now, when he sees that Yahoo is trending and it wasn't him. <laughs> you <understand? laughs> so, Someone else is playing his yes, role right now. Yes, right now. So it's free. It's free. Let's see how it's going. But I won't be surprised if EFCC decides to stress invite. this. Invite. Invite at least. Maybe not speaking up anyhow. But because they've been working... My people will say you're working efficiently and be backwards because I don't understand how you go to a club and raid yeah. everybody in the club and then parade them saying they yeah, are. Yeah, oh boy. Wait, it's, it's... Honestly, that's wrong because some people are not frustrated. Me, I, I go to club, they... so that's how I just so, enter one club now. You see, I, I don't even know if I want to go It's really yeah. wrong. But I can't. Because the, the point is, you didn't just arrest them, you paraded them, their pictures are out there, and these are people that have jobs and their company, people, um, their HR will probably see this. Mm -hmm. Where do you want them to start from? Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> it's time for a quick break. But before that, I would like to share something really important with you. Again, saving is one of the ways you can make 2020 your best year so far. My Colo offers you an opportunity to start working on your financial stability and independence. Give yourself the chance. Start saving today. Get a Colo by visiting the My Colo Instagram page. That's at mycolo.ng. Today, today, not tomorrow. Tea time continues right after, after this break. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tony Payne says biological means absolutely nothing, stating that it's simply a means to exist. The publicist went on to, open, uh, to say that those who raise you, guide you, protect you, love and care for you as a child are the ones that truly matter. Hmm. I, totally I agree. Yes, I, mean, I do. She said it so well. <laughs> There's no way you would say it again. Mm -hmm. It's not about being yeah. the... I, I call them um, sperm donors. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. I don't even use biological. It is you just donated the sperm. Yeah. And, I mean, <laughs> someone is being the father. So that's all. The <laughs> fact that... You, if, <laughs> <laughs> you have something what to say. Oh, no, 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 she said. They are calling the sperm donors. Honestly, that's know. what it is. The okay. only difference is that we didn't go to a... A, a, a sperm bank to mm. get it. You, that's a little different. Because if you have a child and you've decided not to take responsibility for that child, mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen people that are really poor, 
and they are still there for their children. The struggles. The struggle, it. and yeah. then they are still. There. You know, there's sometimes that even kids will know that my parents don't have to do this, but you know the words of encouragement, treating them right, talking to them, being there when they need them the most. Mm -hmm. um, so the, you, people don't really have excuse for being a um, deadbeat father or mother. And this just brings me to the point that, um, like she rightly said, Tony Payne was spot on on this one. Mm. She was absolutely correct because you see what some family members would actually do to you and you'd be like, are you sure this person right. is my family? Mm -hmm. And then a friend would do so much more for you. Do you understand? Like, So at the end of the day, if you have a good family, and you have a supportive family and you have supportive be family grateful. members, be grateful. Mm. Know the value of those people. Yeah, Show them love. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't, but don't if you look don't, back too much. Mali on them. The people, <laughs> the people that are there for you, those are your, your real family. family. Blood is not thicker than water anymore. Trust me. Oh, don't miss it either. I mean, sure. we've seen, we've seen um, a friend turn family and we've seen mm -hmm. family turn strangers. Sure. You know, when you need people the most and they are not just there for you, and you think these people are your family, and not, they are not just there because they can't be there, but they are not just there because they don't want to be there for you. have stories of family members killing their own. Mm -hmm. For they're money, own, like, yeah. Not even just for money, just because they are jealous. Right. Only. I mean, it happens even with friends and all, mm -hmm. but what we're trying to say is wherever you get the family love is where your family really yeah, is. Yeah, appreciate it. Doesn't, it yeah. It's not about a tag or what people think or who brought the sperm and all that. It's about <laughs> true responsibility and commitment. That's mm. all that matters. As Even as a friend, I'm committed to you in a certain way, yeah. right? So if they don't understand you, then they don't deserve you. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> um, like I said, appreciate your real family that is there for you, and those that are not your real family that are still there, mm -hmm. appreciate them, and don't never pay back kindness for evil. That's my lesson don't, for the day. I mean, don't ever do that. Don't, don't be ungrateful. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we let's fix you. Ah, uh, wow. Don't fix you. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are watching you though. If you're not, you need to catch up on that. You series. need to on Netflix. So you is have you started watching or you're not just you're guys. just binging you're just on social media. Ah. You need to watch it. No, you need to. Let's move on to the next story though. Didi and Faith Evans are planning for the big night as they anticipate notorious BIG being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The late rapper will be inducted alongside Whitney Houston and Nine Inch Nails. Faith tells um TMZ. She's ecstatic about her late husband being honored as a first ballot inductee. Um, the post humorous inductees will lead a new class into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The annual induction ceremony will take place on the 2nd of May at the Public Auditorium in Cleveland. Drum roll. I was going to say. <laughs> it's all a dream. I used to read What Up magazine, okay. Chunk of Papa and Every D up in the limousines, mm -hmm. and the pictures on the wall. Every Saturday. Let's stop doing Upcoming B.I.G. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want to be upcoming B.I.G.? No, no, no. That's I don't want to die young. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel it deserves this. Yeah, and I'm happy does. that he's getting this recognition because there's no how you talk about rap and then his name will not pop up. I mean, he was the one that basically changed what rap used to be. Mm. Uh, mm. So, I mean, this it deserves this and it's a good one. And I love how Faith Evans is just... Loyal. Love mm. loyal, it's just so sweet to see. And that song, she teamed, teamed up with Didi to write mm. for my app. What's the title again? Miss, uh, missing, missing you, or missing, missing you. you. Yeah, yeah. that's that's like an evergreen song. Mm. And I'm happy for her. I'm happy for Didi. Didi is quite excited. Yeah. Some people are saying he might even perform. Yeah, that, that has a surprise and that's or going something. To be a big mm. one. So I'm hoping. And Fake Evans might perform as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy for this one. This and I good. feel like um, Didi and um, Faith are just like the perfect two people that needs to be there yeah. that night. And mm -hmm. Because Didi played him. Did you see his role. excitement when this mm. was announced? I mean, he's super, super excited. And that is the kind of, I mean, bringing back the previous that's story. Family. This is the kind of energy you need. That's family mm. and that's what people that would celebrate you when you win and also be there for you when 
they go in get stuff, mm. right? It, it happens. It's never going to be rosy for everybody. Even right. the celebrities you look up to have where it is pinching that them times. somewhere, you know. Mm. So mm. we all need someone, and that someone is your family. If you get that someone, mm. I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching, and remember you can watch this episode all over again by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my exciting co-anchors, Ewalu Oritu and Ifeolu Oshunke and the entire yeah. production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay with us.